Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you another method for how you can create a collapsible section inside of Wix using multi-state boxes. Let's go ahead and get started. Now for this video, it does require a little bit of Velo or code. So as usual, I will be showing you how to do it live here in the video, but it will also be available on my website. So if you click the link in the description, you'll be able to just copy and paste the code onto your website. But I highly suggest you watch the video so you can learn how this is actually being set up so you can do it properly on your own site. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're gonna to want to do is make sure that dev mode is turned on. If it is not on, uh, you'll see turn on dev mode here instead of turn off dev mode. And if we come over to add, come down to interactive, under boxes, you'll see a new option here for multi-state boxes. Unfortunately, you have to have dev mode turned on for this option to be available to you. And it makes sense because for these multi-state boxes, in order to change the states of these boxes, you typically need to use code. So it makes sense for why you need code here. So let's go ahead and just drag out an option like this one right here. And what we can do for state one is just go ahead and shrink it up like this. And for this example, I'm just gonna create like a custom FAQ, if you will. And what you're gonna notice first is if we press manage states, you're gonna see we have a state one. And if we come over here and say edit ID, let's go ahead and change this to collapse, just like that. And what we want to do in collapsed is go ahead and add some text element, like let's say this heading four. And let's just change the text to what is an apple. And over here on the right hand side, maybe we can just go ahead and add a little shape. We're gonna use a plus sign. So let's just drag one of these out onto the page. Let's just do this one right here. Perfect. I'm hoping there is a minus version of this one. What we now need to do is let's go ahead and say manage state. Let's duplicate this state right here. And we're gonna go ahead and edit the ID for this one to say expand, expanded. Let's call it expanded. And while we are on the expanded state, Let's go ahead and bring this down just like this. And we can go ahead and design this however we want. So if we wanted to, we can say, maybe here could be like the definition of what an apple is. And maybe just for fun, we can go ahead and add a picture of an apple. just like this. And now what we want to do is go ahead and change this basic shape. Now let's go ahead and say minus. And it doesn't look like they have a minus option similar to the plus one. So we'll just use this zoom out because it kind of has that effect just with a little magnifying glass handle. But we'll just go ahead and use this for this example. You might want to find your own icons to use. But now we can actually begin coding. So if we go to collapsed, what we want to happen is if a user presses this little plus icon, we want to change the states. So what we want to do is in this on ready function, what we want to do is say this vector art on click, we want something to happen. So in this on ready function, what we're gonna do is dollar sign W We're gonna say vector image one. We're gonna say dot on click. On click, what we want to do is have something happen. So we're gonna do something that looks like this. And what we want to do is grab this multi-state box. So it's called state box eight. 
I'm gonna say dollar sign W and you're gonna see state box is here. So we're just gonna grab that and we're gonna say change state. I'm gonna do that, do this parentheses and we want to go to expanded just like that. And if we go ahead and press preview real quick and we click this little plus icon, it should open up the expanded state. But now we need to do the same thing for expanded. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and copy this code real quick, bring it down. Instead of vector image one, we want to do the minus sign, which is vector image two. On click, we want the state box to change to collapsed. Just like that. So now if we go ahead and press preview again, now we have plus, and if we press the little minus sign, it's gonna go back to the other one, just like that. Now, if you wanted to create multiple versions of this, what you could do is just drag this one down. Maybe this one could be what is a pair. And what we want to do is go into manage states, and if we switch over to states, let's just go ahead and change out this image real quick. We'll choose an image of a pair, something like this. And we also need to change the text here as well, just like that. And once again, all we'll need to do is just let's go ahead and copy this code. Let's bring it down. And if you wanted to, what you can do is do two backslashes like this and we can call this one pair. And if we come over here to the top, we can do two backslashes and call this one Apple. That way inside the code, we make comments to kind of make sure that we're editing the correct ones. So if I go ahead and go to state two here and select this, we're gonna see that this one is vector image four. So with vector image four, we want to change to state one and then if we go over to state one we want vector image three to go to state one just like that and the last thing we need to change here is this state box is state box nine so we want to change state box eight and these and the pair ones to state box nine and now if we go ahead and press preview, we can see that Apple, when it expands, it expands the box and it also pushes pair down, which is what we want. We don't want it to be over on top of it. And if we press minus, it's gonna shrink it. And then for pair, it's gonna do the same exact thing. And if I go ahead and press this little minus sign, you're gonna see that is working here as well. Now, this is a great way to create your own custom FAQs, or if there's a lot of content on your website that about a particular item or something, and you want your users to be able to toggle that info on and off, this is a great method for doing that. And as you can see, for one multi-state box, there's basically only six lines of code. It is very, very simple. But that basically wraps it up for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix and Editor X content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.